Hey guys, welcome back. So today I have a foundation slash BB cream favorites video. This is all the foundation and BB creams that I have. Um, I'm just going to go through them and tell you a little bit about them and what I like and what I don't like about them. So let's get started. Okay, so first I'm going to start off with um, drugstore BB creams, I guess. First I have a Maybelline Dream Fresh BB cream. This is a 8-in-1 Beauty Balm Light Sheer Tint SPF 30. Um, I like this on the no makeup days. Um, I can just smooth this on, add some mascara and lip gloss and walk out the door. Um, and I mean a lot of people don't like this but personally I do. I mean it's a BB cream and it's light sheer tint so it's not going to be your full coverage foundation if that's what people are expecting. Um, this is great for no makeup days. I think this was, I paid $8 or $9.99 for a Canadian. Next one is by CoverGirl. This is um, CoverGirl BB Cream Tinted Moisturizer. This is in the shade Light to Medium. This is 9-in-1 Skin Enhancer. One multi-action BB cream with 9 skin friendly benefits. I don't know if I believe that completely, but um, this like is barely any coverage. Like This one gives more coverage than this. Um, but I mean, I guess I could use this under a foundation. Um, it is a tinted moisturizer, I guess, so it's another no makeup day kind of thing. Um, I like this one better than this. Um, I bought it, maybe a new gimmicky thing, I don't know. I will use it, but I wouldn't purchase, purchase it again. Okay, so that's all the BB creams I have. Uh, I'm going to move on to drugstore foundation. Um, first, I have the new Rimmel Wake Me Up Foundation Anti-Fatigue Effect Plus Radiant Glow. Um, this is in the shade True Ivory. Um, this finally came to Canada, and we don't have all the shades, I don't think. Because uh, I've looked up online, there's more shades than it says in the stores. But um, I like the packaging in this. It is glass. Um, it has like a nice fancy like indent there, or like Rimmel London. Um, and it has a pump, which is awesome. This is maybe one shade too dark for me. It is True Ivory. I am an NW20 in MAC, um, but I just use this very like lightly, like sheer, just so it doesn't look too dark on me. Um, and I can mix it with like a moisturizer, put it over a moisturizer, obviously, as I do use a Clinique Dramatically Different moisturizer before I add my foundation, or, or an Ombre Elise moisturizer. So I do like this. Um, I wish we got more shades in Canada, but we don't, so this is what I went with. And I think the there's one or two down from this, but I think they would have been like too light. Like maybe I could try them, but I think this was like $8.99. Good, um, good price. Um, a lot of people really like this and say it's a good dupe for high-end foundations. I would purchase this again like once I finish this, but I pretty much just bought this like maybe a month ago. I hear noise in the background. Is my dog snoring. Okay, so moving on to drugstore foundations um, is the well-loved Revlon Colorstay. Now this foundation um, comes in two formulations, one, one for dry skin and one for oily skin. Um, this is in dry, it has SPF 15, this is in 200 nude. This would be perfect for me in the summer, I may be a little bit pale as it is winter right now for this. Um, but I still use it. Um, I love the coverage. It can be a definitely definite medium to full coverage. You can build it up. It does last like 8, 10, 12 hours. Um, I do set it with a powder. Um, the only thing I don't like about it, obviously, is no pump, as you can guess. Um, I hate foundations without pumps, but not much I can do. Everyone raved about this. Um, said it was awesome. You do get 30 milliliters, one fluid ounce. So this makeup, this bottle, I guess glass bottle would be hard to travel with because you wouldn't want it to break, but uh, I guess you could pour it out into a travel container if you wanted to. But other than that, I do like My it. My hair is just like all over the place today. Um, moving on to another Revlon Colorstay one. This is the Colorstay Whipped. This is in 200 Nude as well. Um, this is the Whipped one, as I said, and I kind of broke it like a while ago, so it doesn't really close anymore properly. Um, but it does have like a white like thing here. <sighs> I 
Okay, um, this is, this was a new release for Revlon. Um, completely different formula. It's very different on your skin. Um, the best okay. way to apply this is with a dense stippling brush from Real Techniques or Sigma or any stip, like, um, stippling brush that you have. Um, as, because it is a very thick formula, like, it's not even going to go anywhere. Um... I don't like the packaging because it's glass, it's chunky, can't take this early anywhere. Um, and obviously, like, I broke the lid, so it doesn't even... So I have to sit it on a dresser and just put the lid on top because if it, like, gets, like, tilted around, the lid's going to come off, it's going to go everywhere. Um, so that's another thing I don't like about it. Um, I don't think I would repurchase this. It was $17.99, um, as was this. And... I don't know, it's just like, I'll probably end up using this up, but, like, at first I really, really liked it, and then, like, I just found that it just wasn't really for me. For dry skin, it's, it could stick to dry patches, so you really have to moisturize. Oily skin, I don't think this would be good for oily skin, like, I don't have oily skin, but I just, I don't know, it's a weird formula, it's, I think they could have put more effort into this, so this is a no for me. So the next one is a Revlon foundation again, as I pretty much love Revlon as a drugstore um, brand. And it's a new release for Revlon, so um, I actually did a blog post on it and I'll leave it right here for you guys. This is the Revlon Nearly Naked Foundation. This is in the color 150 Nude. Um, this is very, very sheer. And, um, I like the bottle, the packaging, not so much because it doesn't have a pump. It's nice and classy, but I prefer it with a pump. It's very light, very sheer, as I said. Um, I believe I picked this up for $8.99 or $11.99. It is cheaper than this one by Revlon. Color. It's about a light to medium coverage. I would not say this is buildable to a full because you're just going to have to add way too much. I do set this with a powder. It does last all day. It's very sheer, very light. Um, it's like very smooth on your skin. Like I don't like to feel like I'm wearing a lot of heavy foundation, like a mask, so to say, all day. I just don't like that feeling. So if you want a light to medium coverage, I would say this is the one for you. And it is obviously cheaper than Color Stay. Okay, so moving on to high-end foundations. Um, I'm going to start with a all-time favorite of mine. This is MAC Studio Sculpt. SPF 15, NW20 is a shade. This is a, in 40 milliliters, this is a thick cream consistency. It comes in a tube, easy to travel with. I mean, it doesn't have a pump, but that's fine. So you can squeeze it out and control how much comes out. I know, I just really, really like to cover This is about medium to full for me. Um, I really don't even need a lot of concealer with this foundation. A friend recommended it to me, and I picked it up, and I will wear this, like, every single day. This, and I set it with a MAC um, Mineralized Skin Finish, and flawless finish. Flawless. Lasts all day. Doesn't, um, like, separate on my face. Um, I do have dry skin. I do use a moisturizer, but this is an awesome, awesome foundation. I can't say enough good things about it. It is expensive. It is MAC. And I've been unimpressed with MAC foundations in the past, but this is something else. So I will rave and rave and rave about this. Let me know in the comments below if you like or dislike this. Another MAC foundation that I actually disliked is the Mineralized Satin Finish SPF 15 foundation. This was really glowy and dewy, like it is a mineralized um, foundation. Um, it just was too... Like I guess I... You could set it with a powder and stuff, like I probably did, but I just remember, I mean, this one's like pretty much empty as you can see, almost, there's a little bit at the bottom, which I won't use, um, like I just don't like it, I don't know. This is my first foundation ever by MAC, and it does have a pump, a locking pump thing, which I really like, so, I don't know, it's just not something I liked. It just didn't sit really well on my skin, like it just didn't look good, too like glowy and flashy, so... Expensive, but this is a no for me. So a new release for MAC that just came out. 
um, that I will have a blog post here um, is the MAC Mineralized Moisture Foundation which is what I have on today and I did a video on it as well and I'll link that down below. I know um, this does have a mineral complex in it and like this it is mineralized but this is way a lighter formula than this. Um, this is a moisturizing foundation, this is not. So I don't have to worry about this sticking to dry patches. 30 milliliters, NW20. It's in a nice frosted glass bottle with a pump, which I like, a locking pump. But you can't really travel with this, like unless you gotta be careful with it or put some in like a travel container. Um, like this you can travel with. It's kind of hard to travel with a glass bottle because you don't want it rolling around breaking in your makeup bag. So I know I, I really really like this foundation. Um, I am trying it out today to see how much like I, I do like it. So far it is a sheer light to medium coverage I would say. Very dewy, very glowy. I did set it with a powder so I will see how it lasts all day. I'm hoping um, it does last all day and it doesn't start to break down because I just bought this. Um, it is a new release by MAC. Um, so yeah, I'm going to give it a go. Right, so I have two more foundations to show you. This is the Makeup Forever HD foundation. This is in 117. It's like marble or something. I find this a bit too yellowy for me. I can use it um, like very sheer, very lightly. I could go up a shade, I think, or I don't think I should go down a shade because um, I do have pink undertones, not really yellow. So I don't know. I got this at IMATS for 30 bucks and it's normally like 55 at Sephora, so it was a nice, nice deal. Um, I did crack the lid because the lid did fall. It does have a pump. It's kind of dirty right now. Um, which I really, really like. And it's in a nice clear bottle so you know how much you have left, which I do like. Um, this is a very full coverage, I would say. This goes on really well with like a buffing brush. Great all around foundation. Um, I would say set it with a powder, definitely. It could be for dry or oily skin, doesn't really matter. Um, I haven't really heard any like bad things about it. So, some, I mean, some people like it, some people hate it. I guess it's your skin type and what you, your, like, your preferences. But um, overall, good foundation. It's a high-end, expensive one. If that's what you're going for, this is for you, though. Um, it does say 30 milliliters, made in France. Um, it does make a proper Paris, so, yeah. So last but not least is a Laura Mercier Silk Cream Foundation. This is in the shade Medium Ivory. This I got in New York in Times Square when I was there in the summer. Um, this is a very, this is a glowy, dewy, very full coverage foundation. Like this will cover redness, like scarring, everything. It's a very thick consistency. You need like the smallest drop for the of this foundation and it will do your entire face. Um, it does go on best with a stippling brush as it is a thick consistency. So I will actually read the back. The ultimate and flawless natural coverage silk cream foundation is a beautiful light diffusing formula offering advanced light reflection properties which cause fine lines and wrinkles to optically vanish. Laura created an innovative foundation that delivers flawless buildable coverage in a long wearing rich hydrating base. That is true. Um, I find that this foundation maybe only lasts on me six to seven hours maybe um, and then it kind of starts to separate which I wish it lasted longer and I don't know why it doesn't. I do use a moisturizer before as I have dry skin as I've said so many times. This you can it says apply a small amount with a sponge blend gently into skin for a luminous flawless finish. This is definitely flawless. It says 1.8 fluid ounces 35 milliliters um, it's, it is made in the USA, medium ivory, this is, the, I was color match wrong, I think, um, I could go down to like cream ivory, I think it is, um, this is a bit too yellow for me, um, now that it's winter, as I was color matched in the summer, so I'm thinking I'm gonna pick up a, I'm gonna pick up a different, um, different shade and give it a try and see. Um, I love this foundation. It is good for like parties. If you want a flawless face, it will do that. Very expensive. It's like 55 or 65 dollars. But I think like this could last you a, over a year. So you're gonna get your money's worth out of it and definitely, definitely worth it. Um, easy to travel with. This is like the 
easiest one to travel with because it's just in a tube. I mean, like, unless this, like, turns and comes off, um, it does say shake well, um, as I guess it's separate side, so you do have to give it a good shake before you use it. Um, but otherwise, amazing, flawless foundation. Um, highly, highly recommended. Okay, so I think that is it for my foundation slash BB creams favorites video. Um, these are just all the ones that I have and that I use um, for different reasons, different days, you know, when my skin's doing different things. I'll leave all my links down below. You guys can check those out. Um, as well as my beauty blog, I'll leave down below. And until next time, I'll see you guys later. Bye.